Hello everybody, happy Tuesday. Thanks for joining us today for Virtual Club Live. I'm Josh Peterson and we are here broadcasting live once again from the Boys and Girls Clubs of Benton and Franklin Counties Music and Arts Center in downtown Kennewick. It's a little darker right now, right? Daylight savings a couple uh, days ago. What'd you do with your extra hour? Uh, I slept in and so did my kids, so it was absolutely beautiful. Hope you had an amazing Halloween and are getting ready for a great Thanksgiving. We've got a great show coming up today on Virtual Club Live. We've got Adrian here with another break dancing moves video. This is our 11th break dancing video. He's gonna break down how to do a chair freeze today. Requires a lot of balance and skill and some muscle and strength to be able to do that. Plus, music lovers, we got another great video for you. Nathan is gonna follow up in our Rhythm Basics series. This is lesson four, how to play triplets. A great rhythm that you should be able to play. Plus, we've got an update on last week Virtual Club Challenge, the Wax Resist Spider Web Painting. Seeing it done here in fast motion with Amy, a great project. And Thanksgiving, are you ready for it? Jesse here showing us how to make Oreo Nutter Butter Cookies, uh, a great project in the shape of a turkey. Lots of fun, we love this project and this time of year. But first, you know what today is? A super important day. It is election day. Did you go out and vote? Did you mail in those ballots a couple weeks ago, maybe? Uh, hope you were able to do that if you're able to do that. Uh, and there are some great resources, youth out there. Maybe you're not old enough to vote. You can still get involved in the election process and learn about it. For more information on how to do that, go to greatclubs.org slash virtual club. We know this is a big day, election day. So hope uh, that you went out there and had uh, made your voice heard Heard, very, very important thing to do. All right, well, Halloween may be over, but we're going to take one last look at last week's Virtual Club Challenge, the Spider Web Painting, a great wax resist painting project with a little bit of salt art mixed in there. Had a lot of fun with this project. Thanks to Amy, our great art instructor. Uh, we love seeing all the great submissions for this project, but as there is every week, there can only be one challenge winner. We got to want to give a big shout out to Aubrey Lauder, you are this week's Virtual Club Challenge winner. We love the creativity uh, that you shared with us with your amazing spider art. The colors, purple and green, very, very nice job. You've won that $25 gift card to Hot Mess Burgers and Fries right here in Kennewick, a couple blocks away from us actually. Uh, but a big shout out to everybody who participated in the Spider Web Painting Challenge. We also have a special shout out to one of our members from our Kennewick Club, a great coloring contest uh, that took place over there over the last uh, couple weeks. A big shout out to Zakaila Garza. You are the coloring contest challenge winner. Got a lot of great submissions in uh, with uh, this, uh, this artwork here that you got to color. Uh, nice job. And you got some Halloween treats there as well. Big shout out to everybody who participated in all of these amazing and super spooky challenges. Well, Halloween is over. We know that I'm sad I'm shedding tears inside but Thanksgiving is coming up next and we've got a great Thanksgiving project for you a great Thanksgiving treat uh, Jesse here breaking down how to make Oreo nutter butter turkeys check it out hi everybody happy November I'm Jesse and I'm so excited to bring you guys one of my favorite Thanksgiving treats this project I do all the time with my daughter every November and it is a family favorite. We are gonna make Oreo Nutter Butter turkeys. The first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need your chocolate melts and we're gonna go ahead and melt these up. All these are our chocolate discs made out of chocolate. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna microwave them at 30 second intervals, stir it up to make sure that nothing burns. And once it's fully melted, I'm gonna bring it back to start the process of making our turkeys. All right, my chocolate melts are nice and melty. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple of these turkeys all at the same time. The chocolate melts do harden pretty quickly. Um, however, you can re-microwave them or reheat them up if they get too hard to work with. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my Oreo and I'm just gonna dunk it in just like that pull it out be super careful because the chocolate melts are hot 
flop it down just like that. I'm gonna take my Nutter Butter, just dip part of it in just like that, just so it has a little bit of glue. Put it right there on top of it, and then using candy corn to create the feathers. I like to put the candy corn in between the two cookie pieces into that nice white center of my Oreo. I'm gonna use one piece of candy corn for the beak, and then I've got some Reese's Pieces that I'm gonna use for the eyes. All right, so that is one of the turkeys. And there you have it, your Oreo Nutter Butter turkeys. Post some photos, follow us on our website, and I can't wait to see your amazing creations. I hope you guys had a great time following this and enjoy this really fun project. I hope you guys had a gobble of a good time. See you next time, bye. All right, thanks Jesse for that super creative, super delicious project. Can't wait to try this one at home. This is a great opportunity for you to make these at home or maybe your own treat. This week's Virtual Club Challenge is we wanna see your best Thanksgiving treat. Maybe there's a snack or a candy or a treat that you make with your family every Thanksgiving season. We wanna see what you're making. If you don't have one, it's okay. You can make uh, Jesse's Oreo Nutter Butter Turkeys. When you're done making your Thanksgiving tree, go ahead and send us a picture to virtual at greatclubs.org. The deadline to submit is Monday, November 9th at 11.15. 59 p.m. and we're going to announce the winner right here on Virtual Club Live next Tuesday, November 10th at 4 p.m. So whatever you and your family like to make during Thanksgiving, uh, during this great season, send us a picture. We would love to see it. The winner of this week's Virtual Club Challenge, you're going to get a $25 gift card to Art Fetty. We love Art Fetty. Super delicious. Uh, treats and macaroons over in Kennewick. If you haven't been over there, highly recommend it. All right, well, we are gonna take a super quick break. When we come back, Adrian is gonna be here to show us how to do a chair freeze, a great break dancing move to give your routine a sense of finality. Stay with us. The future is uncertain for millions of young Americans facing a competitive job market. Additionally, businesses are reimagining how they work and serve their customers. How can young people prepare to meet the workforce challenges of tomorrow? They need safe spaces and positive mentorship today. That's where Boys and Girls Clubs of America come in, to level the playing field and help our youth stay on the right path in the midst of change. Mentors and activities help develop essential skills like communication, creativity, and critical thinking. Club experiences spark interest in careers related to STEM, business, the arts, and more. Together with our partners, clubs empower teens to explore volunteerism, extracurriculars, and certifications in their communities. They can even access financial literacy programs, internships, and local jobs. Boys and Girls Clubs of America is developing today's youth into tomorrow's leaders, innovators, and problem solvers, ready to not only meet challenges, but exceed all expectations. Learn more about our workforce readiness programs at bgca.org slash workforce. All right, welcome back. Well, it was a super busy October for the Boys and Girls Clubs of Benton and Franklin counties. Lots of activities happening over the past month and a lot of Halloween activities taking place over the last couple days. We want to take you to our Kennewick Club right now. Uh, they had a great boo in a box drive through Halloween treat event last week. Everybody dressing up in costumes. Love all the spooky displays. That's John right there um, on, on the right, not on the left, uh, posing there with uh, some of these creepy creatures that Walter was able to create. Uh, lots of fun. Hey, I even stopped by with my kids in costume so they could get some candy. Just a lot of fun. Over at the main branch in Pasco, a similar event. The staff there all dressed up, ready to deliver uh, treats and food boxes to families there. Look at all the cars that are lined up, um, ready to get some great uh, food. They handed out boxes to over uh, 100 cars 
and loved seeing everybody's costume there. What a great e event as well. Well, from our traditional clubs, let's go over to our licensed care sites. All the preschools over uh, throughout our organization having a lot of fun and a big shout out to the Columbia Basin College Agriculture Department uh, who brought some pumpkin patches over to the locations of all the club sites, the Kennewick Preschool, the CBC Preschool, the Main Branch Preschool, and the Preschool at Jason Lee. Such a great opportunity for all these kids to, to hang out uh, with each other in a fun pumpkin patch environment and take home some pumpkins as well. Uh, really enjoyed seeing that, super, super cool. And our final shout out goes over to our Keystone Club over at at the Kennewick Club as well. Uh, they had a lot of fun making a difference here in the community. Big shout out to Robert and Jessica for creating cards and creating these uh, kind of fun care packages as they send positive vibes out to the community. Really, really important to do and meaningful work as well. All right, well, you know what a, a good thing to do is uh, to stay positive? I'm talking about dancing, breakdancing to be exact. Adrian here is uh, with our 11th breakdancing video. He's going to show you how to do a chair freeze. Check it out. Hey, it's Adrian again. I'm going to show you how to do a chair freeze. Now I'm gonna break it down. You're gonna get on your knees. Go ahead and put both down, whatever's comfortable. And a prerequisite for this move is you wanna make sure you get the turtle freeze down. That is a turtle freeze, okay? So you're gonna go into the turtle freeze, step one. Then you're gonna turn over, so watch me. Head on the floor, turtle freeze, turn over, okay? back. Now, once you get comfortable holding it down with two legs and your head, as you might've noticed, you're going to take one leg away, okay? So, turtle freeze again. Go ahead and pick up, turn over, one foot, come back, okay? So, you might've noticed when I did that, my feet are in this position. You can switch feet if you like, there's no rules, but the basic form is with the left foot down. One more time. Go ahead and send us your videos and photos and we'll see you next time. All right, Adrian, thanks so much for that great break dancing tutorial. Again, that's our 11th video. Uh, we, you can see all of them on our webpage or on our YouTube page as well. We want to give a special shout out right now to our friends over at Coordinated Care of Washington. They are helping to support Club Healthy Lifestyles programs like uh, our breakdancing videos. We want to give a big shout out to them and thank you for your incredible support to help us provide great healthy lifestyles programming like these breakdancing videos. Thank you so much. All right, well, we are going to take another quick break. When we come back, young musicians, y'all ready for this? Nathan is here. We got to break down the triple it. Stay with us. For over 20 years, the Boys and Girls Clubs of Benton and Franklin Counties has been providing essential services for all kids, especially those who need us most. Now, kids in Tri-Cities and Prosser need you to make sure they have safe places to go. Join Sun Pacific Energy and Peterson Hastings as part of the Club 20 Giving Program. Text CHANGE for kids. That's CHANGE the number 4 kids to 444-999 or visit greatclubs.org slash donate to give just $20 a month. That's 67 cents a day. I'm in the club. Are you? All right, welcome back. Hey, well, calling all yard uh, y yardists, young artists. Too excited here about this next story. And young creators, we've got a great project and a great challenge for you. This is from the Boys and Girls Clubs Washington State Association doing a Holiday Magic Seasons Greetings Card Contest. You can create a picture of your favorite winter or holiday scene and be entered into a contest to win a $50 gift card from Target 
and 20 prints of your card will be shared with family and friends. Some uh, runner-up gifts as well. Big shout out to our friends over at Amerigroup for sponsoring this contest. You can see all the contest rules right there. If you're going to participate, you're wanna, gonna want to email Corey at WashingtonClubs.org by Friday, November 20th. So you got a couple weeks to do this. A great opportunity to showcase some of your artistic skills and talents in a fun, fun way. All right, well, closer to home, local artists, we've got a great opportunity for you. Coming up on Thursday, we're going to be doing a creative drawing class with Miss Amy. A line art rabbit is what we're going to be creating. Two sessions, 4 and 6 p.m. It's about 45 minutes long. Uh, this is a free class for K through 6th grade youth. youth. You can register at tricitiesmac.org. Also, musicians out there, we're doing virtual private music lessons that you can sign up for. One-on-one -on -one lessons for a variety of instruments Monday through Thursday. Your first lesson is free. You can register at tricitiesmac.org. All right, well, we've got more music education coming up right now. Nathan Martini here to break down the fourth installment of our Rhythm Basic series. Super important piece of playing music in this video. He explains how to play triplets. Check it out. Hey guys, it's Nathan, and this is Rhythm Basics Lesson 4. I hope you enjoyed that music video I made because it is a prime example of our topic for this video. Today we will be learning about what triplets are and how to play and feel them. Triplets are one of the basic building blocks of rhythms, along with a lot of the other rhythms like whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. We've already gone over all of these so far except triplets, and these seven rhythms are the most common rhythms that you will encounter in music. So let us complete our utility belt of rhythms by learning about triplets. All right, so a triplet is a grouping of three notes inside of one beat, which look like this. In Rhythm Basics Lesson 2, we use syllables like fish and cupcake to help us feel quarter notes and eighth notes. And we can do the same thing with triplets. Although this one is much easier because the word triplet has three syllables in it. Tri-bo-let. To show you what triplets sound like, I will play a few examples of them. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. If you noticed, I made sure that all three syllables in the word are spread out through the entire beat. I'll go ahead and do it again for you. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. I will now play an example of what triplets sound like when used with other rhythms that we have learned in the past. And of course, I'm going to be using the same syllables that I did before. Fish, fish, cupcake, fish. Fish, fish, triple it, fish. Fish, fish, peanut butter fish. Triple it, triple it, fish, fish. So once you've gotten used to the way triplets feel while saying the word out loud, you can try to just feel them the same way that we did with the other rhythms. Here we go. To help you get better at using triplets along with the other rhythms we have gone over, I have attached a practice sheet with multiple examples to get you feeling better about these difficult, the difficult process of combining them all. But if you are interested in more things involving triplets, you should listen to the song Bolero by the French composer Maurice Ravel, which can easily be found on YouTube. I also made the music video of Bolero that you saw at the beginning. This is a very popular piece and is easy easily recognized by the triplets and quarter notes that the snare drum are playing while accompanying the solo oboe. But that's going to be all for today guys. I hope this video helped you get better at learning triplets and just at rhythms in general. But that's going to be all for today guys. I'll see you next time.
All right, Nathan, thanks so much for that great video and awesome demonstration of playing the triplet rhythm in action with that amazing piece, Bolero. So a great piece that you can check out on YouTube, as Nathan said, and be sure to go to our website so you can download that rhythm worksheet as well to help you out. If you wanna help support great club programs like this, we've got some great events coming up starting on Saturday, November 14th. The Festival of Trees event is happening over in Prosser. This is a drive through experience at the Prosser Airport where you can virtually bid on some gorgeously decorated trees and more. All the proceeds from this great event help benefit the Boys and Girls Clubs over in Prosser. Also, coming up on December 4th, this is our virtual Dinner with Friends event featuring KJ Wright uh, from the Seattle Seahawks. This is gonna be a lot of fun. The event's gonna be that evening from 6.30 to 8 p.m. If you want some more information on how to get involved, how to watch, how to be a part of the event, uh, you can give us a call at 543-9980 or email info at greatclubs.org. All right, well, thanks for joining us today for our uh, November third edition of Virtual Club Live. Uh, to see content at any time, you can follow us on our social media pages at Virtual BGC BFC, that's Boys and Girls Clubs of Benton and Franklin Counties. We're on YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram with lots of great, unique, and fun content for you and your family. You can also check out our content at any time on our website, just go to greatclubs.org slash virtual club. We now have more than 130 educational videos up on our website that you can view for free. So take advantage of these amazing resources that we've created just for you and your family. Have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week, and we'll see you next Tuesday for Virtual Club Live. Until then, have a safe day.